Hello, everyone, and welcome to a special episode, a special edition of Kayfabe News. My name is Flippin' Marks, and when I say special, I mean in the best possible way. I don't mean like a special guest referee, which obviously always leads to a bunch of unfairness. But this episode is special because we have a very special guest, and I am so honored that he has uh, overcome tremendous challenges to be with us today here his story is so imp- inspiring he's beautiful i am honored to share this with the general public ladies and gentlemen would you please welcome would you please welcome put your thoughts and your brains and your hearts together for not only a professional wrestler uh, sorry uh, not only a podcaster and to me the most inspiring human being on earth it's gregory iron mr iron thank you so much for all the adversity you have had to face just to join us today. Well, I appreciate that, but it's just a Skype call. It's not that big of a deal. It's, amazing. it's truly, you're truly amazing. You have, despite the all of the odds stacked against you, you have the courage to just, you have the courage to describe it as easy. It's, it's amazing. It's amazing. I mean, it's literally just the click of a, a mouse. No, 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 no. Trust me. Anything that you describe as easy, like we, we would, you know, we would find that impossible because you have a uh, handy, a uh, handy, a handy, handy uh, capability. Uh, I'm, look, I'm so sorry. I, I don't, I, I almost said handicap there as a privileged, able-bodied white male. I apologize for my ignorance. I, I'm learning every day. It's absolutely okay. I, I do have a handicap. No, don't, don't, don't say that. You have a special ability. I mean, it's a, it's a handicap. Look, look at my hand. Uh, I, I, I see nothing, nothing wrong with your hand. It's a perfect hand because I, I, I don't see, I don't see disabilities. I, I just don't see them. I mean, I do have a disability, but that doesn't stop me from doing anything that anyone else can do. Uh, no, it's, it's just, it's so inspiring that despite your special uniqueness i mean for those who don't know you have bravely and courageously spent your life in a battle against cerebral assassin uh palsy oh uh, excuse me Subi, sorry palsy assassin no 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 just just cerebral palsy oh i'm sorry cerebral palsy cerebral palsy i'm so sorry i'm just a little a little nervous um i've never i've never talked to uh, one of you before. I've never talked to one of you before, so I'm very, very sorry. Um, one of you. What? What is that supposed to uh, mean? So, I mean, I, uh, I mean, someone so inspiring. Someone so inspiring. Uh, before you just you inspire me from minute one to whatever minute we're in now. I've, I've barely said anything at all. Uh, is that is that because of um, your handicap? Yeah, uh, please. We don't we don't use words like that on this program. On Kayfabe News, we've all undergone sensitivity training before this interview, and I've learned that you cannot say offensive word. Like I mean, we don't say handicap, or we don't say cripple, and we certainly do not say gimp. We don't say any any of those things ever. I, I mean, it, handicap is fine. I, I I've called myself the handicapped hero. I'm I'm the only professional wrestler in the world with cerebral palsy. Let's see, see, this is incredible. And for our viewers who haven't studied the science as much as I have, and I have studied, cerebral palsy is a disease of the spleen that I believe is uh, transmitted through unprotected sex. I mean, it could happen. It's definitely a neuromuscular disorder. I, I don't know what neuromuscular means, but I shall assume that it's related to the skin. Do you um? Do you want to talk about I don't know wrestling or something? Yes, yes, yes. We can we can talk about wrestling, but of course, if you're too exhausted, we we can stop. I think it's amazing that you even got out of bed today. Truly, truly, I do. I mean, getting out of bed is not a problem for me. Seriously. See, look, see, look. You struggle to do the the, the things that the rest of us take for granted and then you say it's easy but yes you're right let's talk about wrestling Uh, do you compete in a wrestling league for um uh, differently abled people like yourself no i'm i'm just a normal independent professional wrestler no different than like ricky shane page or effie or simon miller i'm I'm sorry i've never (laughs) i've never heard of any of those people are they special like yourself 
What do you mean? Uh, you know, do they have um, uh, cerebral ballsy? That's palsy. And no, they're wrestlers, just like me. I mean, we train, we travel, we 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 entertain. Cerebral palsy is not a big deal. I mean, I've learned to use it to my advantage. Have you ever won a wrestling match? I've I've won lots of wrestling matches. Yes. It's, it's so inspiring. It's so so inspiring. It's just. Brilliant. I mean, but I've, I've lost my share of matches, too, to be no, fair. No, 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 you haven't. In the eyes of the fans and in my eyes, especially my eyes, Philip Marks here on Kayfabe News, you are a winner all the time. I, I appreciate that. But, you know, as, as many fans like me, there are legions of fans that hate me. Bigots, I say. The damn, damn bigots. No, 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 no. Sometimes I play play the heel, so it's okay. They're supposed to hate me. Okay, well, I just want to say those bigots should not be allowed at any kind of a wrestling show. I'm sure you have fought tirelessly to, to make wrestling a more inclusive, welcoming self-space for people of all backgrounds and uh, other other abilities. I mean, I, I mostly just wrestle. I have a podcast, too. It's called Iron On Wrestling. I drop it every Wednesday. Oh, I see. I see. And who And who records... And edits this uh, podcast for you. Is it maybe uh, your social worker, or maybe maybe you have a nurse? I I do it myself. But listen, it seems like you're a little hung up on this disability thing. <laughs> you don't, my friend Greg. You don't have a disability. No one thinks you have a disability. I, I do. I have cerebral palsy. I told you that. Yes, but you beat it. Through, you beat this disease through willpower. And with mind over matter, I've I've seen this happen before. No, no, I um, I definitely still have cerebral palsy. Uh, well, yeah, but you have still inspired. You've inspired audiences as part of a tag team with uh, uh, uh Zach Gowan, who WW fans remember as the world's first wrestler to wrestle with an amputated head. I mean, I didn't think that was possible, but <laughs> it blew uh. my brain. Did you did you do any research for this interview? He's he's missing a leg, a leg. He, he his head is still intact. Look, I are you sure? I don't, I'm not trying to come at you here, but are you sure? Who was the headless wrestler in WWE? I remember a headless wrestler. I I don't think that happened. I think you're just making things up at this point. No, no, I I never make things up, and I also I never I never mis misremember. My mind is like a steel trap. Now, come on, Gary, just spill it out. Tell me. Gregory. Greg, oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, uh, that's what I said. I said Gregory. Um, what have been the highlights of your career? Let's get back on track. What have been the highlights of your career? Uh, have you ever competed at the Wrestling Special Olympics, for example? Um, no. Look, I, I, I've wrestled all across the U.S. I've, I've wrestled guys like Rhino and, and the Dudley Boys, Johnny Gargano, Tommaso Ciampa, like some of the top-tier talents in the whole world. One time... I was put over by CM Punk. Put over what? It's a wrestling term. Like, uh, it means uh, you're being praised in front of a crowd or in front of a group of your peers. Oh, okay. And uh, and this, C this CM Punk, who, who's that? Are you, are you serious? He's, he's like one of the top stars in the last two decades in professional wrestling. Well, I think I think I would have heard of I think I'm Philip Marks, right? Flipping Marks of Kayfabe News. I think I would have heard of him if that was the case. All right, I've never heard of him. Uh, okay, let me think of someone you've probably heard of. Um, hey, I'm good friends with Stone Cold Steve Austin. I've been over his house. I've done his podcast three times. We text all the time. He tweets me. I mean, that's a pretty cool thing. You should know who Stone Cold Steve Austin is. Was that like a, a, a Make a Wish thing, or you know, or something else? No, we're actual friends. Uh, listen, I respect your work as a news anchor, but this interview, it's a bit strange. You, you seem like you're really stuck on this whole cerebral palsy thing and my disability. No, uh, ability. Your ability. <sighs> Whatever. Look, I, I'm, I have to go soon. Of course. I understand. I completely understand. You must be in uh, uh, incredible pain right now. Uh... Sure. Yeah. My, oh boy, cerebral palsy is flaring up on me right now. I should go, um, 
ice it or something like that. So brave, my friend. You are you are so so brave, my friend Gary uh, Gregory. Look, before I go, I've got to get something off my chest. I yeah, I mean, do, do, would you would you like to have a cry? You can cry here on Kayfabe News. This is okay. We we understand. No. I just want to thank my fans for years of support. You know, I've inspired so many. I've done so many great things. If you love me, cool. And if you hated me, that's cool too. It's been a lifelong dream of mine to be a pro wrestler. And, you know, even though I happen to have cerebral palsy, I think I've proven over the last 14 years that I can hold my own in the ring. And I can't wait to get back in front of fans and just show them what I got once this pandemic's all said and done. You, you caught cerebral palsy during the pandemic? No. The current pandemic. The COVID-19 one. <laughs> if I, look, if, I, if there was a pandemic afoot, I think I, as a news anchor, would have heard about it. All right, look, okay, look, Ger- Gregory Iron, who has a podcast that drops on Wednesdays, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. I think, uh, I know that I have been moved to tears. If I had tear ducts, I would have them removed many years ago. I, I would be crying. I'm sure that our, our, our fans are our fans are as well. They will be surely sobbing at home, but I think we have learned that you are not the handicapped one. The rest of us are handicapped because of our bigoted opinions towards people like your good self. You know what? Sure. Whatever makes you feel better. You're an angel. Gregory, you're an angel. I mean, an angel with a broken wing, but an angel nonetheless. I just want to say thank you again for sharing this remarkable story with us all here. I know I have learned a lot. Have you? You've learned yes. a lot. Yes. But please uh, indulge me. What exactly have you learned today? Uh, I've learned. Uh, I've learned what it means to conquer a disease like cereal pantry. Cerebral palsy. Look, if you want to learn about pro wrestling, you can check out my podcast, Iron on Wrestling, and you can follow me on social media. I will do that. I definitely will. I doubt you will. No, no I will. I said I will. Go, go, Iron. Let's not worry about that. Thank you so much. I will also tune into your podcast. You know what? Thank. Yeah, yeah I got to be honest with you. This this interview was not great. I, I don't think you did any research. And your questions were, quite frankly, cringy. I'd like to withdraw my consent from giving you permission to post this interview online. And if this in any way, in any shape or form, appears on YouTube, I'm going to be sending my attorney your way. You're going to be here.